This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, June the 25th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Well, the front made it down to the south part of the state, but uh, the drier air has been a little bit slower getting in here. As a matter of fact, the drier air is kind of behind that second front up in Missouri where dew points are down into the 50s. In the meantime, though, across central Alabama, uh, satellite image showing that we do have a good deal of clouds. Most of those clouds, mid and upper clouds, uh, the, the lower layers of the atmosphere have uh, dried out just slightly. And we need to get this uh, trough, the trough axis, which you see running from uh, just uh, uh, the northern part of, uh, of the lower peninsula of Michigan, uh, all the way down to about uh, the Mississippi River by Memphis. We need to get that axis by us, and until we do, we're going to have the possibility of some rain, as you can see from the radar over the southeastern U.S., the rainfall, uh, or the radar composite, rather. We do have a little bit of light rain and sprinkles moving through the area. As I mentioned, though, the dew points are a little bit lower for us. Uh, we have uh, dipped down into... Uh, the 60s, for the most part, across the Tennessee River Valley, you notice Muscle Shoals has a dew point of uh, 56 there. And then when you go further upstream, West Tennessee uh, in the, the uh, upper 50s and then the lower 50s in southeast Missouri. So drier air is coming, but we all have to get through this morning. So just a little bit more use of the umbrella today. The watch warning map is much clearer than we've seen for days as we have a good deal of heat advisories, all the reds, pinks, and oranges that you see over the western part of the United States. The QPF story uh, here for the next five days through Friday morning pretty much tells the story. We're not looking at a great deal of rain. Uh, any rain we have is likely to come probably, well, this morning, maybe uh, so, a little bit. And I think if you do get some this morning, it's probably going to be less than a tenth of an inch. Uh, and then we have some showers returning on Thursday. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk over parts of New Mexico for day one. Day two, there is no slight risk areas, but a couple of marginals over uh, parts of uh, southwest Texas, eastern New Mexico, as well as uh, the northwestern part of the United States. And then on day three, we have a slight risk over parts of, of South Dakota, as well as Nebraska. And the tropics, at least in the Atlantic, are quiet. But in the eastern North Pacific, we do have uh, a bit of a uh, disturbance that has developed. As we noted yesterday, we expected uh, this to become the next named system for the uh, eastern North Pacific. And uh, it's Dora, Tropical Storm Dora. Tropical Storm Dora expected to become a hurricane on Monday as it air, uh, goes into an area where it's favorable for some intensification. But the track will take it uh, paralleling the Mexican coast and then gradually recurving westward out into the open waters before dissipating uh, Thursday or Friday. All right, the 06 EGFS model run. And uh, there's the surface high settling in uh, at 18Z, the, the GFS not picking up on the sprinkles. But again, I think by probably very early afternoon, the sprinkles should be out of our area. They're moving fairly quickly. The trough axis uh, does move by, as you can see, by Monday. And that should usher in some pretty dry dew points with readings on Monday in the 50s. That's going to feel very nice. And for the first three days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it looks like we should see uh, morning lows in the 60s, lower part of the 60s at that, and uh, highs in the, primarily the mid-80s for the most part. Now, the trough axis continues to move Tuesday, and then Wednesday it's well off uh, the Atlantic coast. And we've got a little wiggle coming through the flow there uh, approaching the western Great Lakes, but that's too far north to really have an impact on us. And then by Thursday, we're seeing the uh, ridge over the uh, southwest Atlantic moving in or be making its influence felt for us. And what that has done is by Thursday, the flow has turned to the south at the surface as the surface high has migrated across the southern Appalachians during the middle of the week. And the result is that uh, our flow has come around to the south. Dew points will come up very dramatically um, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I think we'll stay dry on Wednesday, but Thursday it looks like we'll have to be entering that 30-40% chance of showers. The uh, upper ridge uh, pushes uh, in but is not pushing in real strong on Friday, not yet anyway. And so that just keeps us in the shower possibilities. The ridge becomes a little bit stronger on Saturday. And again, we stay with the showers. And then on Sunday, we see that ridge really there. So it looks like we're going to see some warmer temperatures by 
uh, the latter part of the weekend. And looking out into voodoo country, the GFS is very bullish on uh, bringing that ridge in across all of uh, the southern part of the United States from New Mexico and Four Corners area all the way over to the Carolinas. So it looks like by July 5th, we should be pretty warm over uh, the eastern two-thirds of the country. By the time you get to Friday the 7th, the ridge is still there. Uh, but notice up uh, coming out of uh, northern Canada, we have a very strong trough. And then by the 10th of July, that strong trough is beating the ridge back a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, but uh, enough that we may see a few uh, degree drop in temperatures over the southeastern U.S. as that um, strong trough over uh, just north of the Great Lakes be begins to beat that uh, uh, ridge back into the western states. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day. Godspeed.